Torpedoes! is under control. Hey everyone, it's DFA, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I usually do not go for black ships. I find them generally quite not interesting, to be honest. Yeah, but this one is actually different. When you look at it and you compare it with the other tier 7s, especially the regular Scanner, what do you get? Instead of having those three engine accelerators, you get three smokes. And you're trading your radar for one sonar. That's a completely different ship that you're actually getting in that situation. And apart from that major change, the rest of the stats are not fundamentally different from the regular scan. The survivability is okay, not good, not bad. Maneuverability is also pretty average, to be honest, at tier 7. Small increase in speed, but you do lose the engine accelerators. Okay, fine. The guns are quite good. You can rely on them. HE AP fire chance, it's not amazing, but still not bad as well. Pretty average for tier 7 DDs and the AP DPM is also pretty average, so you have decent guns. And your torpedoes, they're pretty typical for EU DDs in that they have a very low amount of damage, only 11,000 burst damage, burst damage compare that with the 35,000 of the Akatsuki, yeah, that's, that's not a lot, but they reload very, very quickly at 37 seconds. So in, in, actually you're always in a position to be firing torpedoes. That's what I like about these ships, you're always very, very active. You do get a little bit better floating chance, which makes it a bit more effective at playing the fire and floating game, so that's good. And you also get a bit more small caliber AA, which is always a welcome improvement from the regular scan A, and that makes you the best AA. That gives you the best AA at tier 7 for a DD. Still, do not expect to be deleting entire waves of planes, but it's better than nothing. And yep, let's take a look at that thing, decent matchmaking, two DDs on the enemy team, one cruiser, one battleship relying on HE, and then two other battleships, and a CV, so fairly balanced matchmaking. And a pretty good game to be testing the black scan. I did play a couple of battles with this thing, I think this one was my second or third one, and immediately you're going to see the difference. For example, I'm not going to go to the middle of the map here, that's the play I would make in a regular scanner in any EU. DD, I can actually go right because even though, yeah, you really need room to maneuver with those ships. Since you generally don't have smoke, you cannot rely on smoke to get away with any positioning mistake, and so you really have to give yourselves a lot of room to maneuver, and that means you usually try to stay away from those islands, because you might hit them while maneuvering. They do not provide a very clear or easy escape path, and so you try to stay away from those situations, to be honest. So the enemy CV is sending its planes on the other side of the screen, that's fine, I'm still undetected, that's very good. My 
battleship on the right decides to go do whatever. I have no idea what he's doing there, actually, to be honest, the Prince Irish, but it's okay, I do have an arrow to my right. I'm slowing down because I can sense that I will have to turn around, hit him, and... <laughs> <laughs> Guess what happens when I am not hitting an island? I do hit another cruiser. So there you go, that's the first sonar charge in action. You actually get one, but you can increase that to two with your commander skills. And yeah, you see the main difference, for example, with that Z31. Those torpedoes of him move <laughs> incredibly slow. <laughs> I have no idea why I wasted my sonar on it, to be honest. <laughs> but my torpedoes are already on target and past target, and I'm actually already in a position to be firing them again. And just look at that situation. Two battleships next to one another, immediately firing a salvo. The torpedo range is absolutely excellent with that thing. And so, yes, you are not going to be dealing a lot of damage in with each salvo, but you are going to be hitting targets very often, you are going to be hitting them very... There you go, that's two hits on the Lyon, two hits on the Prince Irish at a very high distance, and two floating, so each ship has been floated actually, so if my team manages to set them on fire, there you go, they've already used their damage control kit. And what I particularly liked about the black scanner, well, you, you saw the increase in AA there. I did take down a couple of planes from the Hiryu, but honestly, do not expect that thing to be turning into a land at tier 7. <laughs> I just want to manage expectations that it's not going to happen. And you're lucky if you have down between 5 and 10 plates at the end of a game, to be fair. And so, yep, continuing the battle. Yeah, usually the playstyle of this DD is actually fairly simple. You have to keep firing all the time at everything. Your torpedo range is absolutely excellent. Your reload is excellent. You are almost always in a position to be firing torpedoes. And you are not, you have to be using your guns. And that is why smoke is a major game changer for them because now you can actually play that a lot uh, you, you can play that a lot safer you do not have to expose yourselves as much as you had to do before with the regular scanner with the regular scanner would already be moving away from that here you because honestly you only get so many hit points where well, you don't get a lot of them to be fair now he's flooded and if I simply want to be punishing him I'm going to pop up my smoke and that's actually going to even give me enough time to be reloading another salvo of torpedoes. I'm staying also safe from the torpedo and dive bombers and I'm simply going to wait for that hit you to well, I'm actually not going to wait for him to do anything because there I sense an opportunity. Uh, I tend to do that generally. I tend to give the impression to a ship that I'm focusing on another one and I actually fire my torpedoes at the Lyon. That here you is moving too much for me to be able to hit him reliably with torpedoes. The Lyon probably thinks he is very safe because I am focusing on that here you trying to set him on fire. He's already been flooded and that allows me to place a very good salvo. There you go on that Lyon. Unfortunately, this time I do not set him on fire, but that's all right. You see another advantages of the main, the regular scanner over the regular scanner. So that's how you would play with the regular scanner. You would be moving, twisting, turning left and right at it, to trying to dodge as much as you can. But with this thing, you can be a little bit more aggressive. My smoke screen is almost already reloaded. It's incredibly easy to be putting those torpedoes on target because they move so quickly. Look at that; they're already on target, and that poor hero. This time it's going to get flooded for good. And oh no, we don't flood him, but that's okay. He's so low on health. I'm going to be finishing with the guns, and I will be able to do that before that Lyon is in position to fire again. I enter the cap, kill the Hiryu, and there you go. I go right into my smoke screen, and that makes me relatively safe. The torpedoes are already reloaded. This time, Lyon, you're going to get it. And since I'm relatively safe in smoke, I can finish him absolutely no problem. So you see the difference with the regular scanner there. You are able to hold positions, caps make dangerous plays a lot safer and a lot easier than, <laughs> than you would be before. And sure enough, boom, there you go, bye bye that Lyon as well. Big game hunter, 65k damage and the uh, game that was actually pretty close, which is not close anymore. Yep, so there you go, black scanner, a major upgrade. 
Red over the regular scanner makes the EU DD playstyle a lot safer, a lot more viable. And basically this is why I love these ships. You are always doing something. You're always firing at something. You're always in a position to be shooting torpedoes with an amazing range, an amazing reload time. Yeah, they do not deal any damage, but I mean, you cannot have it all, right? And this is just more of it thanks to the three smokes. And the sonar is also excellent when you have to fight against other DD. So yeah, it's a very, very big update over the scanning, to be honest. And a pretty good ship, pretty fun one overall, pretty safe ship to be learning about destroyers as well, simply because of that you will be able to fire a lot, you will be able to put torpedoes on target very easily, they move so fast, and so yeah, it's a pretty good platform to be honest. The only problem I have with it is that you need a dedicated commander to it, it's already the case for most of the premiums on the EU DD line, like the Bliska of the Friesland, uh, you're not going to be able to put your legendary commander on this one. I'm afraid you will need to retrain a commander to be honest to have a dedicated one for it. But still for me not such a big inconvenience for what is ultimately a fairly fun ship to play actually a pretty good one. And a good platform if you generally enjoy playing destroyers and having a more active playstyle, so I'll probably end up getting it to be honest, but yeah, we'll see, let's see about that. So in any case, that was my review of the Black Scanner, hope you enjoyed it, stay safe, take care, that was DFA signing out, bye bye!